Hey everybody, what's up from Roll, Minnesota, your state of skate? Hey, I'm Butch Lehman, and today we're in for another episode of Rolling Reactions. Today's episode features one of the most technically proficient and prolific producers of video parts out there, one of the best skaters, Ian McLeod. And there are so many great sections of his to choose from, some of which have already been featured on this channel. So I think what we're going to do today is focus primarily on his days riding with Second Regime, which was a wheel company, clothing company, one of my personal favorites back in the day. Anyway, we're actually going to start out with one of his more recent parts with Razors, a little promotional video. It's about two minutes long. And then from there, we'll check out Hot 102.R, which is a great video, and then Sell Your Soul to Roll, one of the classics. Anyway, guys, let's roll into it. All right, this first piece was with Razor Skates, and Ian is coming in hot. We got the fakie 630 Front Royale down a ledge. That's exactly the type of technical destruction you're going to see from Ian McLeod in all of these parts, is he skates ledges unlike anyone I have ever seen. Some of the most difficult tricks ever that I've never seen anybody reproduce besides Ian McLeod. Big gap into that one. This is kind of a cool spot. It's like a little wall rail sticking out with a drop over the stairs. Here too, 90 degree angle transfer down a ledge. This is what I'm talking about. He'll drop down to the bottom, back up to the top to true topsail. If that's not enough to add to the line with a TTP, like that type of consistency on ledges is unreal. You saw how topside he was on that one and pulling it in with a line with a full true spin sole. Both of those tricks are pretty massive hammers if you ask me. Going up for some more ledge action there. Look at how he just winds up and is able to crank out the spins. Even here too with the fakie 540 sole down the ledge. And I know he's the type before that's done like 900 over stairs, which also doesn't make any sense to me. But Ian McLeod is unlike anybody that I've ever seen. He really does have the complete package. He's got the big spins, technical grinds, the switch ups. Here he's got a full true spin misfit, which I don't know if I've ever said that before, especially on a ledge. Really scenic ledge on that last one, too. We'll pull in a negative trick just for good measure and high jumping up into the fish brain and into the true spin Machio. That's pretty up there. I don't even know what to say about that. We got zero like fish on both sides. We'll cap this out with the true spin X grind and then full alley oop X looks like to fakie 720 out. Man, if I could skate like Ian McLeod. All right, next we'll switch over to Ian McLeod's time riding with Second Regime wheels and clothing. And they had a star-studded lineup as well. You had Vinnie Mitten, Ian McLeod, I know Dustin Halloran was on the team, Cameron Card, and a number of others. Really great team to watch. This video I actually have in my personal collection is one of the ones I have on DVD that I watched a lot growing up. And uh, once again, Ian McLeod is going to put on a little technical performance for us. I kind of like that last spot, it was a down sea ledge. Not often do you see sea ledges that are also down ledges. 360 sole here, I believe this is a famous spot, the Blair Witch Rail if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember for sure, but if you guys have seen Martin Scoreback, he's got a channel on YouTube where he goes through iconic skate spots, and he just pulls together all of the iconic clips from that spot to like a montage. You guys should definitely check that out, there's a lot of history in those videos. This trick was scary. You notice his front foot almost missed the lock, and I've said it before, but that's a very dangerous trick, those sweat stance, or in that case, top mistrial. Uh, glad he was able to come out with that one okay, though. You'll notice here, too, that Ian's rocking the Deshi skates, and Deshis were fairly short-lived comparatively in the industry, and there are two skaters that I felt made them look really good. Ian McLeod was one of them, and then Chris Farmer, I thought, also rocked them really well. I've tried them a couple times myself early on and they felt really big, bulky, and heavy, so they weren't really for me, but uh, I still enjoyed the skates that they put together and I kind of like the soft boot style personally. He's just destroying this kink rail. Those alley-oop tricks where you gotta go down backwards looking over the shoulder are not nearly as easy as they may look on kink rails. We got a left foot three topsail, coming back with the right foot here with the full true topsail. And that's one of the things you'll notice about Ian is he has no difficulty spinning into tricks. And he also has a very wide selection of switch and regular tricks. Like that three topsail was with the right foot. If you remember from earlier on the down rail, that one was a left footed one. So little detail there for you. Really high jump up into that sole grind. 
going over. Man, that could have been dangerous too. Those fences are not forgiving if you clip them with your shins and then it, they flip you too. You just got to put that stuff out of your mind when you're out skating. This ledge is always, or this rail has always looked really fun too. I've seen this in a number of different videos. I think it had some clips too in Barely Dead, if I'm remembering correctly. Another full cab trick for Ian. That's one of the things that we have in common. Like obviously he's much better at it and especially on street spots, but I really like the full cab wind up into tricks. It's kind of my bread and butter. Take the full alley Machio coming back the other direction. That's a really hard change in momentum. Another beautiful top mistrial. It's even got spectators there watching. And I always wondered about this. This just looks like somebody's like backyard skate park set up on that last clip. Not good, man. Vinny Minton actually destroyed that handicap rail too. That's another section that we should feature sometime as Vinnie Minton's section in this video is one that's really fun to watch. Very colorful skater too. Another true spin. Big fakie. That's kind of a weird stair set. It looks like the stairs are actually blocked off by a rail. Kind of want to take another look at that. Going in spin, double fish down the ledge. Unbelievable. All right, for our last section, we'll rewind the clock even further to sell your soul to roll. And now this video is very iconic. It's one of the classics. And I know this is going to bring back nostalgia for a lot of the older bladers out there, like myself. But Second Regime, definitely in its prime and its element. One of the best teams out there. And Ian starting it off with a big one-footed wall ride, little teaser to later. We're going true topsoil upper rail. That's something you don't see very often. And now we'll get the spins in early and often with the 360 sole down a nice long down rail. And uh, this is something I've never understood as a skater myself, but I love doing cess slides, especially on little manual pads that are waxed up or really glossy like that. But the torque cess slide or the one footed spinning cess slides, I don't get it. I need somebody to teach me the ways of that. I've always been more of a backslide skater when it comes to one footed tricks, but torques, very difficult for me. To do them on a cess slide doesn't compute. It's another cool one, 270 Royale. We actually call that one a true spin Royale here, which I know is a bit controversial, but what's not controversial is how difficult that trick actually is to do because you're spinning away from it. Kind of like rails like that that have the grass in the side, little down rails. Great place to learn. Gives you maybe the illusion of a bit of safety since you don't have to worry about falling on the concrete. Well, at least not on one side. Look at that fakie 720. That was the perfect landing. You absorbed it, you rolled away in a straight line. There was no hand down, there was no stumble. That's exactly what you get with Ian McLeod. He is one of the spin masters, especially for big gaps like that. Got the true topsail, working together another line here. Speaking of torques, got the 270 back torque. Throw a switch up in there just for good measure, just to show off a bit. Why not when you've got that in your back pocket? Kind grind, full cab out. Check out this ledge. This is a pretty cool ledge. Not often you see a little out kink ledge like that. And uh, I think the front far was a good trick to do on it because you pull that in with a lot of speed and it's one that looks really good. I think there needs to be more handicap rails in skating. Now, I don't know. I've always loved handicap rails. I like seeing people do technical switch ups on them, especially ones that just have a little bit of angle of down. Um, but that's just my personal take and my personal taste and opinion. True spin, top acid. That's always a fun one too. And you know what? If you're going to do true spin, top acid, why not full cab into it? There's that trick from earlier. Look how he absorbs that landing. That's just so crouched. And that's the style piece that you only get from Ian McLeod on those big drops. Another big drop, perfectly absorbs it, rolls away like nothing. Kind of a sneaky switch up there. That one was quick. Back to the handicap rails. Really sitting in on that one. Front Savannah. 450 Royale down a nice long rail. This is the era of the baggy clothing. Personally, this brings back the memories. This is the kind of style that I gravit gravitated towards when I was that age. And, uh, you know, times have certainly changed. Styles have certainly changed. 
But one thing that hasn't changed is the love of skating. And you're seeing some really high level skating in this video. I love the framing of this shot. You get the fish brain in the foreground or in the background there for the foreground. Really difficult trick. Outspin top miss trial. Another full true topsail. That's a trick I really enjoy doing. Much more difficult when you're doing it on a down rail though. Outspin sweaty. Again, that one's tough because it's very easy to over rotate to lock that uh, sole foot in there. A lot more difficult than it seems. All right, we're setting up for something big. Looks like he's up on top of a building. Gap in to the roll down. I don't remember for sure, but I think this was part of the promotion of the video. Like this was on the cover or on the posters. I don't remember exactly, but uh, really big trick. Very photogenic spot for it too. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Rolling Reactions featuring Ian McLeod. Now, we were focusing primarily on some of his older stuff back in the days with Second Regime, but he has produced a number of profiles, and I highly encourage you to go check out some more of his skating. He's even skating to this day down in Las Vegas. So uh, much love to you, Ian. Whenever I've thought of technical skating and ledge destruction, there's nobody that comes to mind quite like Ian McLeod. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this one. I'm Butch Lehman of Roll, Minnesota, reminding you to stay safe, stay healthy, and get out there and do some rollerblading. We'll see y'all with the next video. Until then, peace, everybody.